Hey, how's it going? My name is Bill Mathis with UPCI Music Ministry, and today we're going to take a look at the song Come Move by Britney Scott featuring Court Chavis. Uh, this is a super cool song, uh, high energy, uh, up-tempo, a great message, and a lot of fun to play. Uh, so we're just going to break down the guitar parts of this song, the lead guitar parts, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so this intro line you repeat a lot, um, so it's it's pretty simple, but it's really cool. So uh, what you start is you start here on the the one. Uh, so basically, you play this one, and then you do a walk up from that one. One, two, three, and then you go down to the seven flat. You're gonna repeat that walk up again. One, two, three, and then land on the four. And then you do kind of this repeated line, four, three, one, four, three, one. And then so for, for letters, uh, for those of you that, that need it in letters, it's uh, E, E, F sharp, G sharp, D. And then you repeat that walk up again, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, A, G sharp, E. A, G sharp, E. So we've got that. Um, we're going to repeat that whole line again, uh, except once we, so we'll do the one, one, two, three, flat seven, one, two, three, four. And instead of doing that four, three, one, we're going to stay on that four, on that A note. And then, um, you hold it until until right before this intro is complete, and then you play this this octave five or this octave B, and then you land back on the one. So just the second a half of that is uh, one one two three flat seven one two three four hold five one. So that's the intro. Okay, so for this first verse, we're going to just sit out, uh, not much going on here from the guitar, but uh, we are going to come back in on this pre-chorus, so let's play that and then we'll break it down. Okay, so uh, for this pre-chorus leading into it, uh, we've got this quick 4-3 or A G sharp. Um, and then we land on this uh, this F sharp power chord. We're gonna diamond that one. Uh, then we go up to this this A power chord. Gonna diamond that one again. Uh, but for this last part, uh, we're gonna push into a D power chord. Uh, but when we get to this D, we want to make sure dynamically that we're building it because uh, we're going to go into a big chorus. And so uh, we'll help kind of just drive uh, drive into that chorus on this D chord. So, uh, so from the two. And that leads us into our first chorus. Okay, so for this chorus, uh, pretty much just following the chord progression uh, using these power chords. Uh, so the basic progression is uh, one, five, flat seven, four. Uh, then you're gonna repeat one, five, uh, but then we're gonna skip that flat seven and go straight to the four. 
and then you do this quick pickup on the five before you go back to your one. Then we're gonna repeat again, one, five, flat seven, four. Um, but this, the very last part of the chorus, uh, again, we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna do a one over three. And then we're gonna do a two. Again, this is all power chords. Uh, then we're gonna go back to this four. Pick up on the five. And that's gonna lead us into the pre-chorus, or the interlude, rather. Um, so, again, so for my, my rhythm for all of these chords is pretty much the same. So kind of just the same rhythm uh, for each of these chords. Um, uh, that that pretty much works. Gives you kind of your place in 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 the the rhythm and and sits pretty good. So uh, and then you'll notice at the end of that, I did play that interlude. The interlude is pretty much the exact same as the beginning. So we've got that one, one, two, three, flat seven, or the E E F sharp G sharp D. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and then again the 4, 3, 1. Uh, the only difference is, we'll repeat that part again, the, the 1, 1, 2, 3, flat 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, but instead of doing the, instead of holding on the 4 like we did the first time, this time uh, we do, we match the melody line being played going into that verse. And all that is is 6. Seven, one, two, three. Or for, if you need the letters, that would be a C sharp, D sharp, E, uh, F sharp, G sharp. Now, if you're listening, again, if you're listening to the tracks, uh, you're not going to hear a lot of guitar present for this, uh, but in a live uh, worship uh atmosphere it's it's great just to to emphasize that line more from from the guitar so um and that will lead you right into your second verse now on the first verse we sat out the entire verse this time we're going to set out just the first half uh but we will come in about halfway between uh this this second verse so let's play that uh and and we'll break that down afterwards Okay, so for the second verse, again, we're going to start halfway through, uh, just on this 4-4, four, 5-5, four, five, five, uh, or A-A-B-B. -B. Again, those are just power chords. Uh, and then basically, we're going to do this same kind of palm muted pattern for uh, the, this next progression. It's just, the progression is just 1, 2, 1 over 3, 4, uh, or E, F sharp, E over G sharp, A, uh, but it's just basically this four hit, palm muted uh, kind of chunk uh, that really just kind of drives this, this second half of the verse. So slowly it just sounds like. So the same pattern, uh, just going through that progression. Uh, now we get to this, this second pre-chorus. Uh, again, we're going to start with this two-note uh, kind of pickup, uh, but, but it's a little bit different, and then, then we get this really cool run. So let's play through that, and then we'll break it down. Okay, so uh, again, start with this two note pattern. Uh, this time what we're gonna do is four, six, uh, and that's just gonna be A, C sharp. Uh, then we're gonna land on that F sharp power chord again. Diamond this, uh, diamond that, that A power chord again. Now this is where it changes. We get this cool run that leads us into the second chorus. Uh, so let's break that down, numbers first, and then we'll do letters. So uh, the numbers for this run are four, five, then five, six, flat seven, and then F sharp, A. 
And that leads us right into the one of the the second chorus. Uh, now, if, if we're looking at it with letters, it's A, B, B, C sharp, D, uh, F sharp, A. And then again, land on the E of that chorus. Uh, so just from those those power chords, we're going to do it real slow. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three. All right. So uh, so so pretty simple. Uh, then that leads us into the second chorus. Now the second chorus is the the exact same as the first. Uh, so we're going to skip over this. We're going to start on the, the interlude leading into the bridge. Uh, again, we're going to get this same line that we've been playing. It, it does have a little bit of variation at the end. So let's play through that and then uh, we'll break that down. Uh, just kind of the differences there. Okay, so what we're doing here, again, it's the same uh, same as the first and the second interlude uh, that, that we do with this line. And then again, the, the ending is what changes. So, uh, so the first half is the same. Let's just start on the second half. So again, just the one, one, two, three, flat seven, one, two, three, four. And then this is where it changes. Uh, so right before we go into this bridge, uh, you get this kind of octave uh, five, 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 six. Uh, or for, for, if you're thinking of it in letters, it's B, 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 C sharp. So just the second half of this interlude. And that leads us into the bridge. Now, uh, the bridge has these, these really cool triads that we're kind of playing throughout. Um, again, if you're listening with multi-tracks, you can hear that there's multiple guitar parts. Uh, this is kind of just the one that's the most prominent, uh, the one that I like to play. So, so this is, again, just some triads that we're doing. And so let's play through this, and then we'll break it down. Okay, so um, what we're doing here is is playing these triads over this progression. The progression for the whole bridge is four, six, one, four, six, five. Uh, or in letters, it's A, uh, C sharp minor, E, A, C sharp minor, B. Uh, so the way we're playing these triads is uh, doing up here uh, with your six, one, four. So that's our first triad, or if you're using letters, C sharp, E, A. Then the next one, uh, again, we're going to do C, C sharp, E. But instead of an A, we're going to do a G sharp. Then we're going to do this triad, um, which it's, it's not really a triad, it's more kind of like a power chord. Uh, but basically what we're doing is just B, E and then do uh, another B, an octave up. So that's that's your four, six, one uh, part of the progression. Uh, then we're gonna repeat those first two triads. So C sharp, E, A, then C sharp, E, G sharp. Uh, then we're gonna do this five triad. It's gonna start on the B, then the D sharp, then the F sharp. 
so after the first time you played through this progression, so you're doing the A, C sharp minor, E, A, C sharp minor, B. After that B, there's this quick two note run. Uh, it's just E, D sharp. You can kind of just pluck that first one and then pull off to your uh, to your D sharp. Now, we're going to basically repeat that whole progression again, except the second time when you get to that B, instead of doing that run, that E, D sharp, uh, we're going to actually do B, C sharp. So again, just after both of those Bs, you have those, those two uh, quick uh, two-note runs. So just E, C sharp then B, C sharp. So the first time that you're playing this dynamically, we're uh, just doing kind of these diamonds on all these triads. So we're just diamond, diamonding these out uh, the first time through. Um, once you get, you pick up the second time, then we'll start strumming through all of these. Uh, so just the first time through this whole progression again, diamond those. Second time, uh, just just driving more, uh, and then then we're kind of driving into the guitar solo. So uh, I know this is the part that that we all want to learn. We love playing this as guitar players. We love the guitar solo. Uh, but uh, let's break this down. I'll play it for you, and then we'll just kind of break down what's going on here. All right, so just breaking down this solo, uh, where we're going to start here is on this five hammer on six, then one, or B hammer on C sharp E. Uh, then the next part is this two slide to the three, five one five, uh, or F sharp slide to the G sharp. Uh, B, E, B. So just slow, this first part sounds like. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is bend a whole step from our two to the three, uh, or F sharp to G sharp. Um, now once, we're, once we've bent this up, we're actually gonna tap the 10th fret of the B string. Normally it would be our A, but since we're bent up a whole string, it's actually gonna be our B or our five. You're gonna tap uh, and then just release back to that 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 bent note that three. Then you're gonna bring it down uh, to back to your two, and then to your one. Okay, so slowly that part just sounds like. Okay, so next we're going to do this. Um, this three, uh, just a half step bend to our four, and then back down, or G sharp bend to the A, and back down. And then we're gonna do this one, or E. Uh, then we'll do this, this small kind of walk up, uh, just a seven, one, two. Or uh, D sharp, E, F sharp. Then E again, that one. Then five, six, or B, C sharp. Uh, so just from this this three, uh, half step bend to the four, back to the three, slowly it sounds like. Now when I do, I do a little bit of an embellishment here, uh, you, can, you can do this, so I do five, five hammer onto the six. Just gives it a little bit of extra flavor. Uh, then we're going to do this this triad. We're just going to pick out the notes. Uh, what this is is six, one, three, or C sharp, E, 
F sharp, uh, excuse me, it'll be C sharp, E, G sharp. Then we're going to go up to this triad here that uh, is going to be E, G sharp, B. So. Um, then we've got this, this quick uh, little little part that, that gets us into kind of the faster, uh, faster pull-off part. So this part, before we get to that, is just C-sharp, D-sharp, uh, then B-E. Okay, so from the triad part, it is... Okay, and so now here's the last part of the solo. Uh, this part is just just the really fast part. Uh, so basically, though, you're just using two two patterns. So you've got this three pull off to your one or G sharp pull off to the E, and then six pull off to the five or C sharp pull off to the B. Um, so basically, the pattern is three one six five six five. Three one three one, and then six five six five. Then you're gonna do one more three one. So slow that sounds like. If you're having trouble with the speed of this, uh, just a great way to practice, and just a great practice in general when you're when you're wanting to grow as a musician is use a metronome. Uh, the the BPM for this song is 152, so you can drop that down to 90, drop it down to 100, where, however slow you need to, uh, just to make sure that you're really uh, doing these pull-offs clean and in time, and then work your way up to 152. Uh, but but the more you do that in all of your playing, it's great because it really helps you to lock into your timing, helps you lock in with the rest of the band, and just makes you an overall uh, better musician. So uh, once we do this part, then we've got one part left uh, to, to end this solo. Uh, so what we'll do is this bend from the three to the four, or the G sharp to the A. And then we'll come back down to that three. And that's just, so bend to the four, or the A. Then G sharp, F sharp, E. Uh, then D sharp E. So that part with uh, the pull off part sounds like. And then you'll kind of just slide off of that once you've held that for uh, a couple of beats. So that is the solo. So now we've just got this broken down chorus uh, and let's let's play that and then we'll uh, break that down. So pretty simple. Remember, coming out of the solo, uh, we're holding on to this E. And we'll slide off. Uh, the, the keys play this really cool run that kind of lead us into to this uh, seven, flat 7-1 seven, or D, E. Then we're just going to hold that E uh, until we get to our 4. Then we're going to palm mute this 4 and build it up. Then the whole band does this run. And all that is is four, three, two, six, five. Uh, or A, G sharp, F sharp, C sharp, B. Then that gets you into the final chorus. Now, this chorus is a little bit different, so I'm just going to play this whole chorus, uh, and then we'll just talk about kind of what's what's a little bit different about this one uh, compared to the other two.
Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is start off uh, the same way that we started our first course, our second course, progression is the same. Just that one, five, flat seven, four, one, five, four, five, one. Uh, so so that, that power chord uh, thing that we're doing the first two courses, we'll do it here, but actually this time what we'll do is we'll play that whole progression twice. Then after we played it twice, what we'll do uh, is, is this where we, where we get a little bit of variation. So we'll still do one, five, flat seven. Uh, but instead of just playing a four, there is a run here. So what this is, is uh, four. Then we're going to hammer on from the five to the six. Five, four. And then we land on a one over three power chord. Or in letters, that's A, hammer on from B to the C sharp, then B, A, then E over G sharp. Then we'll go to our five, then A. Now normally we'll do a five one uh, to lead back into it, but this time we're actually gonna do this octave flat seven uh, or D to our E. And again, if you want to, I like to just slide, like to hit that D once, hit it a second time, and then just slide up to the top, back to that E. Um, so then that leads us into the last part of the course. Again, this is a little bit different too. So uh, it's a one uh, or an E, B, A. Then there's a really quick one over three to a six, and then we kind of break down uh, to a halftime feel. Uh, so just slowly on this part, it sounds like. So push into that one over three and then push into that six. Then five. Then we're playing a four. And then, then we do this five one which leads us into the outro. Okay, so um, we're basically using that same interlude line that we've been playing, uh, just with some slight variations, and then we get to add some cool stuff. So the the very top of the outro is that first part of the interlude line that we've been doing. Uh, except you just do that part twice this time. Um, then what we'll do is, this is where we kind of change things up, is we'll do one, one, two, three, four. Or in letters, it's E, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Then the first time we just let this sustain on the four, uh, and then when we start over, we actually do this same pattern, this this new pattern, we do it three times in a row. Uh, so it'll start the same one, one, two, three, four. Uh, and then we do this line uh, that basically it's just four, three, two, one, uh, or A, G sharp, F sharp, E. Uh, but I use this kind of this trill just to give it a little bit of flavor on the three. So basically what that'll sound like is four, three. Uh, that's the slow, slow version of it. So you just basically hammer on and pull off from the three to the four and then back to the three. So slow it sounds like. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
and then back you back go back to the three and then we start it over so you do that line three three times in a row uh and then we have one more part before we're at the end of the song so uh what we do is we're gonna go back to power chords and just do one uh, or e b which is your five and then a Uh, and then to end the song, we do that octave uh, D E that we used earlier in this in the very last chorus, and then I kind of just slide off of it to end it. Um, and that's the song. That's that's come move. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope it's helpful. Uh, hope you have fun with it. Again, great song. A lot of fun. A lot of cool guitar parts. So I uh, hope you have fun learning the song. And God bless. <laughs>